So how do you feel about possibly going grocery shopping and you get to the grocery store and the lights are dim, like the mood is set, the lights are dim. Do you feel more like shopping or do you just want to leave? Because lights matter. Having light brings joy, happiness, feeling. You want to be out, you want to be doing. A little bit dimmer lights, depending on the mood, it could be romantic or it could be depressing. This is what's happening in grocery stores. Get ready for the experience of shopping with dimmer lights because the cost is too much to bear. And they want to save them money and hopefully save you money. Let's talk about it. Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Happy Friday to you. At least I hope I put this out on Friday. Um, it's just a lot going on, so I don't know when this will upload. But whenever it uploads, I hope it finds you in the best of health, doing what you need to do for your family, stockpiling your food, because you see and you know what is happening. So when we're talking about grocery stores, and y'all do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button or dislike if you don't like the video. But anyway, let's get into it. So when it comes to grocery stores it's a lot to be said and a lot of people do say a lot some people say well you shouldn't be eating canned goods you should you should just be eating fresh well honey you gonna need them canned goods if you go to ready.gov or whatever it is they're gonna give you a list of things that you need to be um having for at least I think it's seven days but y'all it used to be three so it might be seven now go there and find out for yourself but either way it go get more than seven days worth of emergency items so you gonna need canned goods because if you are living through an emergency and it could be weather related you may lose your power then what you can't go in your refrigerator but so much. The stuff in your refrigerator only going to last so long. You got to put stuff in your freezer. So you don't need them canned goods because the fresh stuff that, yes, you should be eating it. Don't get me wrong. You should be. You're supposed to be. It's not going to last. And I know you know from going to the grocery stores right now, when you bring your vegetables home, how long do they last? You let me know down in the comments because mine don't last very long. So I try not to get anything fresh that I need until I actually need it. Unless I'm growing it in my garden. And that's a whole nother story. And that is why I am growing a garden. Because I do want a lot of squash and zucchini and stuff. And the squash and zucchini I see in the store, they just be so small. But they cost so much. And you can get a pack of seeds for the same amount and then have plenty. And then you can chop, chop them. You can dehydrate them or you can freeze them. I freeze mine personally. I don't really care for the dehydrated ones. But anyway, I'm off subject. So what we're talking about today is this store and other stores are going to be doing the same thing that this store is doing. But y'all, that is a debate that's out there. Y'all can let me know, you know, how you feel about eating out the can or, you know, stockpiling canned goods and things like that. So... Um, you can also get your vegetables frozen. Let me just say that before I get into the story. So let's get into the story now because I'm just all over the place today. Okay, so what's happening with these stores is we get used to going in there and it's such bright lighting. Like, you know, I'm saying you're in the dentist's office or whatever. That is what the article is saying, like you're in the dentist's office. But anyway, we get used to going into these stores and it's so much lighting in there. And that's, you know, it makes you want to buy. Now, I've gone into some Walmart. This was a while ago because I haven't noticed it lately. But um, a while ago, I went to like a Walmart and the lighting was so dim. Y'all, I don't know why this person with all this noise behind me. He don't even live on the street. Why is he over here? Anyway, neither here nor there. So, whew, pay attention, girl. I can't get my thoughts together today. 
so anyway when i went into the walmart the lighting was dim in certain areas and i was like what is happening and i didn't realize until reading this article that's probably what they were doing and this was through the thick part of the pandemic right they were cutting back and dimming the lights in an effort to save them money because their light bills are extremely high and supposedly to save you money. Now, I don't know if that's true, but that's what's happening. So in this article, it is talking about Aldi and they're cutting back their lights. You pretty much gonna be shopping by candlelight. <laughs> I mean, you might as well just cook your food in the store and eat it. But anyway, so let's get to the article. And I want to apologize again because I am kind of all over the place today. But I have so much running through my mind right now. I'm just trying to stay focused. It's really difficult. And I'm not sitting stressing about anything that's going on. I've given that to God. But, well, I shouldn't put a but in there because that just canceled it, canceled it out. But anyway... I've given it to him, but for some reason, my mind is just all over the place. So let's get to the story. And I hope that y'all hit that like button, um, but it's all over the place. So I, I understand if you hit the dislike. Anyway, it says German discount supermarket Aldi is reducing the number of lights it has turned on across all of its stores, including its more than 2,300 stores in the U.S. this month in an effort to maintain affordable pricing by cutting energy bills and lower the company's the carbon footprint. Um, through measures like this, we're able to make sure our stores are even more sustainable and maintain our position as, as the UK's lowest price supermarket. So this is something that they have been doing over in the UK that they are now doing here in the United States. The move follows a trial earlier this year in which the discount retailer tried turning off some lights in four stores turning off some lights in four so stores. they say that the decision um involves maintaining low prices through efficient frugality relying on its own brand of products rotating limited time only products and keeping its store relatively small are all tactics aldi uses to keep both costs and prices low and this is what a lot of stores that are going to remain open are looking into now we'll say a lot of walmarts are more so looking into online because they pay so much in lease for those huge buildings then you have lidl which we talked about yesterday who is lagging behind aldi for the same reason they cannot match all these prices so they're you know letting go of a lot of people in order to hit their so i do believe that more stores will start doing this now they're saying they're only doing this for this month but i can pretty much guarantee you if this really saves them as much money as they're thinking um this is something they'll do for the long term because inflation is really uh, keeping people from going to the store as much as they used to, buying what they would normally buy. They've cut back. So they're trying to get people into the store and having low prices is pretty much the best way to do that nowadays. Now I know that like I need to get pineapples and stuff because I'm gonna start juicing and the cheapest place I've seen for pineapples is Aldi. Um, next in line is probably Costco. But yeah, it's tough out here. So it says that the decision coincides with the introduction of more energy efficient lighting at its locations, which aim to reduce their energy consumption at around 10% maintaining an excellent in-store experience for the customer because i mean when you think about shopping and the lights being low you're like what are you hiding you know you're trying to hide this wilted fruit from me or vegetables you know so 
I don't know if I like shopping because I didn't really like the dim lighting. It really made me want it, it made me sad. You know, lighting you're juvian, you're happy, you're you know, but when it's like dim, whether you unless you set in the mood for your, you know, spouse or something, it makes you sad. That's why I say don't sit up in your room in a dark room because you get depressed. Anyway. That lighting in Walmart made me depressed. But anyway, so prices for groceries to be consumed at home rose 7.1% from April 2022 to 2023 and that's according to the u.s bureau of labor statistics meanwhile the cost of food and beverage in the eu including bread cereal meat and dairy went up and it went up 15 percent. so it went up even more in the eu than it did in the u.s um inflation across basic groceries is beginning to slow i haven't seen it but that's what the article is stating and i disagree with that um evidence by the price of eggs now yeah egg prices have started to go down but i haven't seen a lot of other things go down i've seen pasta kind of remain around the same but meats no and i'll be cutting back on my meats too i almost want to be a vegan but i don't know if i can do it anyway that's off topic pay attention tommy so from the looks on this article and um, me going in the Aldi, I can kind of agree with this statement. So it says that Aldi is like 1,200 stores across the U.S., U.K., France, and Australia. It's been the fastest growing grocer in the U.S. for the past three years. At the end of May, Aldi dropped pricing on more than 250 items throughout the U.S. I don't know any other store that's doing that, that that's has the ability to do that and probably because they are in such large spaces and it's intentional that aldi is in a smaller space now when i first started going to aldi i didn't care for it. and i even said in a video i don't like going to aldi but y'all when the prices started going up i loved going to aldi but even with the cheap prices it's still having you cut back on the amount of things that you're like I've had to increase my budget for groceries, which I haven't done a huge grocery shopping in a while. And that's intentional because it costs so much. So we've been eating through our pantry and now it's to the point where we don't have any mustard. And I don't even eat mustard like that, but apparently my kids do and it's summertime. So, you know, my son came home from college, hence, the hat that I'm wearing at the school he goes to and then I have a 17 year old also so yeah food uh, it's like help I need somebody but anyway at the let me just let me end this video because I'm just all over so I'm gonna finish this article and I'm gonna end this video because y'all I apologize for today's video I really really do um, okay, so it says cutting down on energy costs is not exactly new in Europe as energy prices have risen due to the war in Ukraine. Around 800 bakeries in Germany went dark in September of 2022 while still serving customers to protest rising power costs. A handful of European countries like Austria, not Australia, Austria. Portugal, Denmark, and Germany put out guidelines over restricted Christmas lights used this past holiday season. That's it. That's all. I'm sorry for the struggle bus today with the video, but I hope that you guys got something out of it, even with me sidetracking and just talking off opinions. Um, I hope that you got something from it. Hit the like button if you did. If you didn't, hit the dislike button subscribe to the channel share the videos out because that is what helps the channel grow and right now i need all the help i need somebody i need all the help i can get so in the name of jesus we got through this video and i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love thanks for being here y'all i'll holla peace love and light thanks for being here on tommy Mice tv
try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here? Stay here.